and blessings, family. Sister Ajali, I have to come in because this story is just so disgusting that I can't ignore it. But also because I have to encourage you to donate, purchase our wonderful products that are on 25,000yearscycle.org because we're builders and we are here to facilitate the just magnificent growth of us as a people. We are already separating from the lunacy that's out there. It's just that when Henry Kissinger, before he died, he told, he warned these devils up at the top that, you know, if you guys don't get to work, he basically really threatened their lives. And since they're cowards, and their materialists, they operate on a very superficial mindset and will do as they're told because they've signed up with the board of Lucifer. It is what it is. Now, that stated, we are not the worst people on the planet. We are in no ways are. Even though part of that UN you know, we are losing control of the populations of the world. Uh, part of their plan is to transform the state of uh, Procyon loitering. So that being a sellout as a black person is very different than what was perceived as a sellout when I was a child. And when I was a child, it was much easier to just look and say, oh, Procyon Loader. Now they made it through folks like Candace Owens and what's his name? Uh, Jason Whitlock. Uh, they've made it seem as if it's really just an intelligent choice, but they still do it by never fully discussing uh, the obvious imbalance in what Europeans and those derived from Europeans have historically committed on this planet and are right now doing. The Pacific Ocean is glowing. If you catch it on the right evening in the right spot, something that you can't see any place else, and that is bigger than any wrongdoing other than abducting us into slavery and we were never slaves until now. Other than that action, that is the biggest wrongdoing they've ever committed because when you kill the planet, I mean, you, you, you don't get any worse than that. And so all these people that they've expanded in terms of, you know, using their media that they control utterly, that's why they need censorship. Even a place like Zero Hedge that likes to pretend it's for the common white guy is actually in favor of the censorship because they're pro-nuclear. You cannot be educated and be pro-nuclear. It's simply impossible. Uh, but they use every single little apple that they have on their tree of deception uh, to keep the tomfoolery going where you have to have gone to one of their schools in order to be qualified reputation-wise, according to them, as intelligent when that actually is the biggest MK Ultra indoctrination venue there is their collegiate system so to equate like oh no we're not going to discuss what nuclear really is with well that's the intelligent thing to do you're an operative you're already out of your mind so all these folks who were up at the tippy top of black media as selected by albert pike's descendants are Procyon loaders, zip Procyon loaders, 100%. Because we could never, ever outdo the devil when he's killing the only planet we have, right? And so Berlin walks back plan for daycare sex rooms for toddlers. 
to masturbate in privacy? What the? First off, I thank Sister Lashi for her knowledge of the Bible and sharing what it says about masturbation and that it's wrong. It's wrong. And then when I contemplated it, because I've been hearing the indoctrination all my life, same as you, since I was a little child. Oh, no, masturbation is good for you. Before, it was the Catholic Church, which is satanic. And, you know, like, no, no, but they do it in a white way, where they don't explain in a humane fashion why masturbation is going to get you that energy that I think is called... Uh, Con, I, I don't want to use the term because then I don't know that term so well. But um, uh, that serpentine energy that is not a serpent is simply melanin. And it, and, and it just, but it can beguile you away from understanding the long term impact of whatever your actions are because you'll fall in love with that sensation and that's a lot of homosexuality and all the other perversions that that gateway per first perversion opens up it winds up making you feel like there's an alternative to submitting to the one and only i call him allah but i call him yah too and use the name of the creator as you have been righteously guided to embrace. His name is not Baphomet. It's not Satan. It's not Beelzebub. It's none of that. That is the great beguiler. All right? And if you are of a individualism mindset, which is all that Western society is about and during the Renaissance, that was just a great big giant open air coven, and they have dragged us all into the cave of individual, you know, rugged thinking in their definition. That is the first step to thinking that you are above the creator. And unless you can make your own duplicate plan, hell no, you're not. So there are reasons why he commands you don't masturbate. But at the same time, Children are children. Children are children. I'm not like Western people where it's like, oh, you got to put soap in their mouths or, you know, something really awful. I don't think we should go back to that, but I'm not the creator, all right? I'm not the creator. He will inform us. And if we get rid of, I'm not saying you and me, I'm talking about him and he's a singular, all right? But once he does what he's going to do to all the wrongdoers, it doesn't matter what race you are with him, all right? It matters what function you embrace, and he makes it easier for those who have a better electrical communication going on inside their pineal gland, inside their bodies, as long as you make that choice to submit. We're not supposed to be cows, all right? And so all the wrongdoers, bye, bye. Right? And so, if looking at this headline uh, from just a semantical level, ch children, where would they be the most private and where would they be the most in danger? Outside of their own doors, anywhere. You cannot, I mean, for anyone to even contemplate this as a possibility and there are things that i've seen going on in germany that i will not show you pictures of. i will not show you pictures of the penis parks where they have slides you can look it up right they have slides shaped like phallic phalluxes and they were sending out a pamphlet to the parents in not all of germany i understand one region one little you know i don't know what they pro provincial area they were sending out pamphlets advising parents uh, to massage certain areas of their own children because it would give them uh low self-esteem to have these areas neglected i'm like oh my god nature boy uh, in a whole country 
right? This is the, the, when you run into black people who are promoting this type of lunacy, uh, they've gone through the program. And when you look at Black Lives Matter, which they've admitted, they're nothing but a trans sutured up organization. And obviously they are run by, owned by George Soros. Uh, But the white people, they don't put that out there. They just want to equate us with all the things that they do. And then they have built up a whole crowd of white folks who were like, oh no, but we're virtuous. We don't do that stuff. (gasps) It's those black people. And they don't need to convince an overwhelming majority of us who will never, will never agree to the nonsense they're putting out there. They just have to create the new stereotype about us uh, that they'll rapidly with their censorship so that voices like mine, voices like Dr. She's, voices like Sister Lashid's and Black Up In You Too, they're coming at him again. I knew it was just a matter of time and I hope it doesn't happen, but I'm just saying they can't have same black people represented anywhere. So that's the new Jim Crow where they use technology as their lynching rope for our voices. So that it's like, what? Ain't nobody out there talking about Fukushima fallout and explaining it so that you can go get the books yourself. So I just wanted to talk. I don't even need to read the article because I don't, I know what Zero Hedge is about. Most of the articles I don't even read, but today they have one that I was just like, "Mm mm-hmm, where is it? Let's see, there goes that one, Coco, I back, yeah, right now. Um, I'm not saying that, trust me, vaccines are no good. Oh, they're definitely no good. Uh, But that has been, the whole thing has been orchestrated to deflect and make up excuses for what the radiation is doing, that they don't talk about that at all. You're not educated. And so DMV America, the regime's Fannie Willis problem and ours, they're just, look, all these, I said it a couple years back, they're setting black women up. And so all these folks have been hired by pink people, hired by them uh, to then be taken down with just clownish buffoonery, right? New Procyon Loters. This is an expansion of what they do and how they do it. This is birth of a nation, uh, but not just on a screen, in real life, these dudes are hired. And so now they get up in it, the combination of racial caste system and cockistocracy. I don't know what that one means. They just come up with them new, okay? That the new American regime is determined to erect. We're all, we run the shadow American government. We run the CIA. We run the FBI. Hell no, we don't. But they don't need any further explanation. They don't need to sit back and see their own pathology in all of this. So just separate, separate. That's all that the one and only has ever required. And go on over the 25,000 year cycle.org to get your heel on as you escape the algorithm. That's just the fact, right? So yeah, hopefully someone will come on in, do what's needed to be done, which will empower you. And then I can just comfortably keep on doing what I got to do, which is write an amazing novel uh, that I'm totally in love with. I will finish it no matter what, Uh, but help those who are here to let you know you are magnificently the rescue that you seek. Peace and blessings.